Drew, Drew, Drew. What the hell are you thinking? Back and she's like, I know. She did that to save herself, 100%. And it's absolutely disgusting to see that Drew Barrymore, someone who has had a lot, and I mean a lot of respect, from a hell of a lot of people, mostly because of this, you know? Her mother locked her up in an institution at the age of 13 due to addiction because of alcohol, because of pills, because of everything like that. At the age of 13, she was going to rehab because she had addictions to all of these. And it's like, this is what you want to go out there and put on national TV, well, worldwide TV now. And Anthony, dude, to be honest with you, you're just a piece of shit. You know, you've always have been for a lot of uh, reasons. But, Drew, you have lost so many fans due to this now. So many people. And I really don't understand how you both think this is really, really funny and fascinating. And you're laughing about, oh, we read the transcripts. No, you don't. You just go on social media and you see what other people have put out there. But with one thing about all of this is, as as you will see via uh, Twitter as we look into it now, and we are going to look at it, so this is what the Drew Barrymore show put out. Drew and Anthony Anderson are fascinated by the trial. You got Joan, this is horrifying, how can you joke about this? He was all of this, ga uh, falsely accused, gaslit, verbally, mentally, lied to, lied about. She tried to destroy his entire life. What about this is funny? Do better. Then you got the real Laura B. You experienced this, and now you think you're on some throne to cast judgment. He was a victim of DV at the hands of his wife, who was being diagnosed with mental health issues, including this to lie. To be honest with you, I know the doctor was saying about mental health and all that, but that doesn't give you a right to go around and do what you're doing. Have compassion for Johnny Depp, who loved this very troubled woman. Then you got Lily. Wow, how disappointing for these two to be making light of a DV victim. And Drew, of all people, should know better. You got uh, Captain Jack Russell. Used to really like this lady, but this has made me feel sick. This is awful. Are you absolutely kidding me, Drew? I love you, but what is this? The man first got this for years and then got slandered for six more. A person getting his whole life ruined is not funny. This is not funny. A huge sensitivity chip is missing here. Then you got Scrindy, hashtag Boo Drew, flaunting flagrant ignorance about the case and about how the ACLU and her have used DV survivors for their own agenda and clout. Which they did. The ACLU threw them under the bus. You can watch that in the description where we do have a video on it. But then obviously about, uh, she just laughed in the face of every DV survivor. She makes me sick. But as you can see, you got Good Dog, Diane, you got, uh, you know, P60, P45, everyone is going on about it, boycott Aquaman. Anna, you got so many people who are going on about it, obviously you got Hector, which is Harry, you got Strawberry, you got Christina, you got Annabelle, so many people are out there. And they are trashing you, and rightfully so. And there's one thing about all of this that my mind, well, we know what would happen, because it wouldn't have happened. But what if this was a woman? You know? What if the roles were reversed and this and AH had all of this done to her by Johnny Depp? What would you be doing then? Would you be laughing? Would you be making jokes? Would you be going, I get a read and I read transcripts? You're not even reading the transcripts, we know that. You are literally going on social media. And you're like, oh, what's happened today? And like Drew did, he's sipping tea and everything else. It's like, that's not funny. Drew, of all people, you should be one person to know about all of this. And how and how much it hurts that person. You know, it's absolutely disgusting, to be honest with you. But when you go back to Twitter, you know, you got D Daniels. Stuff like this is the reason men don't speak up about it, 100%. Then you got Princess Consuela Banana Hammock. I bet you wouldn't invite him to make fun of your childhood experiences, Drew. That's so insensitive for someone who's been through this. You could very well use your time and audience to raise awareness. Then you got uh, Blofeld. If the situation was different and the woman sued the man and the man is actually wrong, you'd be compassionate to her. 
you won't say they put it in out there or joke about it. You all talk about DV saving the planet, global warming, etc., but you're nothing but Hollywood hypocrites. And to be honest with you, Blofeld hit the nail right on the head there. That is most likely the best one out of them all. But it's just very, very sad to see that Drew Barrymore is the one who's gone and done this. You know, I expected something like that from Ellen. I really did because of the horrible stories we've uh, we've heard. But when you see Drew Barrymore, someone who grew up literally in the public's eye, at the age of seven, she became a megastar. Then all of a sudden, addiction, going to rehab, all these things, before her 13th birthday? Come on. Drew, you really do need to go out there and apologise. And if you do not apologise in the next week, you are going to see so much hate for you on the internet. Social media will go against you. The media, they've already uh, started doing it, you know, changing their mind about Johnny Depp, because they're like, yeah, we've actually seen what's gone on. We've seen the evidence. Now we've heard from people. We've seen all of this. Anthony Anderson could just go and get fucked in my eyes. I really don't like the guy anymore. He used to be funny, but he does seem to be the type of guy now who, because he's rich, famous, and he has a little bit of power in Hollywood, he's like, ha ha, no one can touch me. Mate, no one gives a fuck, you're gone. You are literally out of there now. And it wouldn't surprise me if a lot of these people who are tagging them in it, they're probably just either muting them or blocking them. Guarantee it 100%. But that's what we got for today's video, guys. Hey, it's just a very quick update regarding this situation because it's horrible. They should not be going out there and doing all of this and saying all of this. But, you know, that's Hollywood for you. Hollywood hypocrites. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell for future updates and I'll see you all tomorrow. We are on Les's channel tomorrow. Bye-bye, guys.